Hi uh, folks, Tim Fasano here, and just um, wanted to let you know that a lot of people thought I was wearing a Hillary shirt last night, so I put the shirt back on, only one I wanted to tell you because it's not, it's not a pro-Hillary shirt. It's actually Hillary for prison, for prison. People who commit espionage belong in prison. Now, I don't want to blame the point. Just understand that the Chinese Navy right now is operating with advanced microcomputer technology and nuclear technology that the Clintons sold to them. If that's not espionage, contact me and explain to me how that's not. And you want this person to be president? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, to the point. Remember last year, the... Uh, the skunk ape at Lettuce Lake Park um, that caught the attention of the Huffington Post and there was a video that showed the skunk ape grabbing a snake or a gar and ushering a juvenile along the way with it. There was a photograph before that that was taken by John Rodriguez in the Hillsborough River close to where I live, or used to live, and it showed a skunk ape in the water. Now, the Florida BFRO was quick to say that that was a Photoshop deal. In fact, there were people on the internet that claimed that it was Photoshop. No, it wasn't. Mr. Rodriguez sent me a series of additional photographs that I've now posted and they have been, I just posted them on SasquatchEvidence.com. That's SasquatchEvidence.com. You will see that there's clear movement of the skunk ape as the boat goes by. The uh, ELV evaluation of the photos showed that the, they were taken with a cannon, a cannon rebel, a, um, a, a digital camera, not an not a iPhone or anything. And when they were subjected to analysis, there are no Adobe artifacts that are detected, indicating that these are pure and clean photos, unedited and presented as they were live in the field. So the BFRO here locally was really quick to do an assassinate, character assassination on the individuals that shot the video because it was important for them like the medieval church that could not acknowledge that there were other forms of gathering, gathering information and knowledge other than just divine inspiration that they had to put away Galileo and Copernicus. The BFRO is not the only organization that is the caretaker to truth when it comes to Bigfoot. Others have the evidence. They did a really good job of just quieting this down. That's, that's fascist in nature. And they did it. There is an ongoing investigation. We are continuing it. There will be more to follow. But check out those photos. I'm sure you're going to find them very interesting. And keep in mind there were additional footprint photos that were sent to me. And I'm going to reveal them as well subsequent post on sasquatchevidence.com. Go to that, check it out.